Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button right there. We're gonna make some magnets. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. So I'm in my workshop and I'm waiting for stuff to dry. And while I'm waiting for stuff to dry, I've got other work that needs to be done. And I picked these vintage bottle caps up at Pick a Fence Gals. So one of the other gals was selling these and I bought them from her. And there's a bunch of different soda caps in here. So like different brands. What is this one? Strawberry soda. And they're kind of crusty. And I just went magnets. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, these would make great magnets. Got a 7-Up, Coca-Cola, um, imitation grape soda, cream soda, like different Coca-Cola ones. Looks like, what arrow is that? This is from Pine City Coca-Cola Bottling Company, too, which is just north of where I live. So that's pretty cool. We've got orange drink. I went to um, Michael's the other day and I got the perfect little round magnets. They're on the board right there so that I wouldn't lose them. So we're, it's not very complicated. The thing I need to do right now is to clean these like a lot. They're nasty. They're dirty. You can tell by looking at them. Some of them it's patina like this seven up one. Cleaning that isn't really going to help. See if it'll focus. Cleaning that's not going to help much, but I want to get all the dirt off of them. And then we will clear coat the, the bottle caps just to make sure that, you know, they don't continue to get icky. What's that one? Old Smoothie Root Beer. So these are back from, you know, back when people used to recap their their bottles but I'm gonna find that other one that I dropped on the floor and then we're gonna get to making some magnets I'm gonna clean them first though so I'm gonna take them actually in the kitchen put them in a strainer spray some of the spray on that's what's really nice about the spray on is I can spray it on there um, we're gonna let it do its thing hose it off and that's how I'm cleaning them so for those of you who are like show us cleaning I'm not gonna show you cleaning I put it in a colander I'm going to put these in a colander, spray it on, and hose them off, and then I will dry them by hand, okay? That's all I'm doing when I clean them. I don't want to soak them because the chance of the paint coming off is very high. I don't want to, you know, scrub them because I don't want to scrub anything off. This is like, you know, gentle clean, gentle cleaning, so very gentle washed and I've got them in a rag. It's just an old dish towel that as you can see has seen better days. So it's become a rag. They all get repurposed, right? We don't just throw things away here. So they're all clean. They don't feel dirty anymore. That's the thing is you just don't want it to feel gritty and dirty. And then I'm going to take the rag and just dry them off. The drying off helps get any remaining dirt off that the spray didn't, but you don't want to use any degreasers. That's why Dawn is nice because um, Dawn dishwashing liquid is really good at getting grease off. Um, if you used any kind of chemical degreaser or anything like that, which it's a little too aggressive, it'll take the paint off. So love this one. I love the color on it. I mean, I want to get rid of it. Um, here are my magnets. You can see they're kind of the right size. I wanted to check something really quick. And I, my biggest concern with these magnets is they weren't going to be deep enough. Oh, they're strong. They don't want to come apart. <laughs> I'm worried that once I get them in there... that they're not going to be deep enough to make contact with the metal surface, which oh, they are. <laughs> Whoop, 
the magnet stayed on there. I had to test that. I just was worried. So I wanted to make sure that the ones that I got were deep enough. So this is also from Pine City. So all of these bottle caps must be from Pine City. Yep, the Coca-Cola Bottling Company in Pine City. So the inside of these all have cork. After I've cleaned it now, I can see that it's cork. Next controversy is what glue am I using? I thought about this for quite a while and I was thinking hot glue and then I went, that's just not gonna hold. My fear is, you know how hot glue gets brittle after a while when it dries and you know, pulling it off. The magnets are super strong. You saw it stick to that and it's sticking to the actual bottle caps without much effort. So my concern is somebody's gonna pull it off and that, um, that glue is not gonna stick. So I have two options. And the one I'm thinking I should use, I don't want to. <laughs> because it's work. It's a lot of work and uh, it requires timing and I'm doing this. So I have clear glue, gorilla glue, gorilla, la, la, la. Hang on. clear gorilla glue, I can speak, which would hold pretty good. And this stuff works really well. The other option is to fill, is to fill each one of these with um, resin a two part resin and it would be clear. And then you could just nest the, which is the one I think I should do because then it ain't coming out. It's going to be pretty permanent. Here's the thing. Resin dries really quick. Um, well, it starts to set up really quick. So once you mix it, you got to pour them and you got to do it. Got to commit to it and do it. Especially with the cork backs, because I'm thinking that with this, I'm going to have an issue with um, pulling the cork. And the resin will get into the little details, the little sharp bits on the side. So the resin will fill all of this and you're not going to have the that issue where you pull it off and the cork goes makes that noise too. So I think I'm going to have to do resin. Decision made. And I'm out of like normal resins, but I've got uh, tabletop epoxy. So this is like a clear glaze for tabletops. <coughs> it's equal parts. Got little measuring cups. So I've got separate cups for the hardener and the top. And then I've got my what are these? What is this? Um, you know, like the spongy one. Hoping it doesn't burn that up. So I'm just going to pour each part, equal parts here. Well, that's just under a half an ounce. So we'll make sure this one's just under a half ounce. This should be equal parts. Now let's get you guys switched around and make sure we're ready to mix this because once it mixes, we're gonna move fast. Already do not like the smell of this stuff. So I'm gonna pour that in my mixing cup here. All right, so I have the first part, part A in there. Oh, and now we're gonna put hardener in there and this is when we need to start working fast after we get this mixed together we are gonna start just filling these cups cups bottle caps wow well, that works fast okay here we go
And all right, we need to just let them set up and get hard and they should be good to go. And then we'll clear coat the other side. All right, we are on day two of the magnets and I'm gonna use a clear polyacrylic and gloss to coat them. The, uh, the backs are dry now. You can see it's not going anywhere. And when I stuck it to a metal surface and pulled, I'm not worried that it's gonna come out. So I'm glad I did that. I know it, it's sticky and it's a pain in the butt. And if you're doing it at home and you wanna use hot glue instead, great. But like I said, I'm selling these. So I wanna make sure that that magnet stays in there forever. Um, You can do this with all kinds of stuff, but you know, for me, I paid $4, I think for this bag of bottle caps. And if I sell these for $3 a piece, I'm going to be up to $66. So I'm going to make a $62 profit. I want to make sure that they stay in put. <laughs> and I didn't use enough like resin or an, enough of this to really matter as far as the cost. But I'm going to clear coat the tops of these today and then I'm going to tackle that thing today. But I want to get these drying just because I want them done and in the shop. So I want to give them a couple days of dry time. I'm not going to do like 14 coats of clear on the top. I just want one coat of clear to protect it because they are going to be touched a lot and the patina that's on them right now, the amount of paint that's come off, especially on pieces like this one, that's enough. <laughs> that's, just, that's enough. So we don't want to let it continue to degrade. Let's put it that way. So I've got my polyacrylic. I've shake, I, I shake it up and uh, I'm going to get it, get you guys switched around so you can see what I'm working on. Okay, are you ready for the final results? Because I'm super excited with how they turned out. Aren't they cute? So I've got 22 adorable little magnets here. I love these. I think I'm gonna do some beer bottle ones and some, I, I did look on eBay. There are a ton of listings for lots of these. So I think maybe I might order enough to at least finish off all the magnets that I have because yeah, why not? Why not get them done? You know what else these would be cute with? A pin bag. Like if you took, and, I, and you can still do it. I mean, I could take one of these magnets and do it. If you put a pin back on it, you could have little buttons made out of your favorite soda still a pop bottle. I think they turned out super cute. I definitely want to get a tab. <laughs> I can still taste tab. I was totally addicted to tab back in the day. So I'm going to get a tab cap for myself and that's going to be one of my magnets, but I think they're turned out really cute and I hope you guys love them and I hope you try it. It's a fun little project. I think this will make me some money too. Not bad for four bucks, right? So if I sell all of these, it'll be $66. So $62 in profit. Can't beat that. Love it. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.